So you're moving to Cleveland, Ohio, and Cleveland Heights is one of the cities that you're considering moving to, but you want to learn a little bit more um, about the community and maybe reasons why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights. Um, well, that's what we're going to go through in this video, the top five reasons why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights to give you all the information you need to figure out if it's the best place for you or not. Um, and as always, if you find our videos helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification um, so you get alerted anytime that we drop new content. Uh, and all, as always, make sure you check the uh, description below for ways to call, email, text, uh, reach out to us if you need help selling your home for top dollar or help orchestrating a smooth move uh, to the Cleveland area. We're happy to help out with both. So let's stop wasting time and get into the top five reasons why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Alrighty, reason number one why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights. Um, and this, in my opinion, is the top reason why people decide end up deciding to move to Cleveland Heights, and that's because of the culture and the character of the community. Um, so let's help. Let's start from a, a housing standpoint. Okay, uh, the average age of a house here in Cleveland Heights is about 90 years old. Okay, so it's filled with tons of older homes that are packed with character. Um, and a lot of them sit on these, you know, gorgeous tree-lined streets. Um, and you kind of drive through the community and you quickly realize that no two homes are the same. So it's not an area uh, where there's a ton of new builds and you kind of drive through and you feel like you're seeing the same house over and over again. Um, there's tons of unique homes, which makes it really, really cool. Um, and you can find pretty much any type of home that may fit what you're looking for. So there's tons of colonials, um, these big center hall colonials as well. Um, there's Tudor homes, which I personally love, um, stucco, there's even some bungalows. And, you know, if you're looking for a ranch, you can even find a, a, a ranch here in Cleveland Heights if you're looking over in the Forest Hills area. And so there's truly something for everybody, no matter what you were looking for, um, what might fit your needs. And, and, um, if you ever have followed or seen the Instagram account called uh, American Castles, Cleveland Heights has been featured on there with, with some of the unique properties that we have here in the neighborhood, um, which is pretty cool. So that's an account that features castle-like homes from all over the nation. Uh, and like I said, Cleveland Heights has been, been featured on there, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's, you know, the housing perspective of things. It's filled with tons of, you know, older, unique homes that are packed with character. Um, which make it pretty sought after for folks that are that are looking to move into the neighborhood. Um, as far as the people go, so you know Cleveland Heights is built up of just under forty five thousand people, and that consists of about forty nine percent white, forty percent black, African American, five percent Asian. So you can start to see that there's all different types of people from all different walks of life that have moved and, and are part of the community here in Cleveland Heights, which makes it very, very cool. And you see that in our schools, you see that in our businesses, you see that in um, you know the activities that, that present themselves here in Cleveland Heights. And so um, if you're looking for a diverse area packed with character and, and friendly people, then Cleveland Heights might be the area for you. Um, and as activities go, so like I said, when you have all these different unique people from different backgrounds, you get a lot of different options from entertainment to nightlife to restaurants and so you know for example if if you're into art okay or maybe live concerts check out Kane Park during the summertime there's a there's a arts festival they put on they also have an outdoor pavilion where they put on live concerts um, you can also hit up Coventry Road and go to the grog shop and, and catch a concert there um, some areas of Cleveland Heights you're able to walk to what's called Little Italy and in the summertime around August or so they put on what's called the feast and they shut down the streets and they line it with food vendors and uh, entertainment. And so you can get a, um, a taste for Italian culture and go get some great food over there. Um, and then coming back over here to Cleveland Heights, maybe you're into to beers and breweries. If you go to Lee Road, there's three or four breweries alone on Lee Road in Cleveland Heights. There's Bottle House Brewery, there's Voodoo Brewery, there's Boss Dog Brewery. Um, some really great areas. You can sit on the patio, grab a beer. Um, and, uh, and, and you can do that over here in Cleveland Heights on Lee Road, or maybe you're into wine, stay on Lee, Lee Road and, uh, go to the wine spot. There's some of the best selections of wine in the city right here in Cleveland Heights at the wine spot. Great selection. You could sit down, sit down there and have a glass of wine, or you could take a few bottles home with you. Um, really great environment, cool vibes over there at the wine spot. Um, 
One of my personal favorite establishments in Cleveland Heights is Quintana's Barbershop and Dream Spa. And so Quintana's is a started as a barbershop and they've kind of uh, evolved and expanded into um, a dream spa where you can get your nails done or, or a massage or those type of things. But over on the barbershop side of their property, it's an old house that they turn into a barbershop. And on the second floor, there's a speakeasy where you can go up there and, and uh, grab a handcrafted drink. Um, so again, really cool, unique kind of vibe to it um, that really fits the culture of Cleveland Heights. Um, and then lastly, maybe you're into to outdoors. You're an outdoorsy type. Try uh, popping over to Shaker Lakes. You can explore the nature center or you can go on a walk or a run or walk your dog around the lakes. Um, and so as you can see, there's something for everybody here in Cleveland Heights. And I think it's because of the people that build up the community. You know, when you have so many different types of people from different backgrounds who choose to move into this area, you start seeing all these unique things and activities to do um, in restaurants and in bars and, and all these type of things. And so um, that's reason number one, which I personally believe is the number one reason why people move to Cleveland Heights is the culture, the character and the people that build up uh, this great community. Alrighty, moving on to reason number two, why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights. Um, and that's because of the world-class hospitals and the access to those hospitals um, that you have when you live right here in Cleveland Heights. And so those two hospitals are the Cleveland Clinic and University Hospitals. And especially the Cleveland Clinic has been, been uh, ranked as high as top two for uh, best hospitals in the nation. And so we literally have people that come from all over the world to get care here at, at, at UH and also the Cleveland Clinic. And so um, you never want to have to use uh, or, or you never want to need the care from a, from a world-class hospital, but you never know when you might need it. And it's comforting to know um, that we have these right here in our backyard. You know, and for example, my wife and I recently had our first kid and it was so nice and comforting to know that we have the great support, um, which helped us have an awesome experience uh, when we had our first kid. And so um, it's nice to have those right here in our backyard in case you need them. And then also with big hospitals like that come jobs, right? And not only jobs for doctors and nurses and people who are hands-on with uh, the patients, but also all the support staff that comes with such big hospital systems like that. And so it really helps out the community and, and the economy. Um, and it offers a lot of uh, job opportunities for folks that live in the surrounding area. In both Cleveland Clinic and UH main campuses, you can get to in about 10 minutes or less, depending on where you live in Cleveland Heights. And so it's a quick drive. In some areas, you can even walk down um, to the main campuses for both of those hospitals. Um, and uh, it all it always seems like those hospitals are expanding or building onto their campus. And so again, that, that opens up job opportunities and helps um, the community and the economy in the area. Um, and so that's reason number two why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights is the uh, world-class hospitals that we have uh, have access to. Alrighty, reason number three why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights is definitely the wide range of educational options. Um, so whether you're looking for public, private, middle school, uh, high school, even college, you know, if, if you want a lot of different types of options um, in terms of accessibility and where you can get to easily, Cleveland Heights is a great place to be. Okay, so as far as the public school system goes, there's seven different elementary schools here in the Cleveland Heights area. So depending on where you live will dictate which elementary school you go to. Um, then there's two middle schools and then one high school, and that being Cleveland Heights High School. All right. Um, and then on the, the private side of things, I mean, within a 15 to 20 minute drive and some are even closer than that, there are a handful of, of private school options. Um, all middle school and, and high school, um, and kind of a mix of both. And so there's University School, there's St. Ignatius, there's Hathaway Brown, there's Laurel, there's St. Ed's, Benedictine, Hawkin, Beaumont, Ruffing Montessori. Um, so there's tons and tons of options um, for folks who live here in Cleveland Heights to get to easily um, from an educational standpoint. And um, you know, what that does also is, is not only for the students, but it opens up job opportunities. So maybe if you're a teacher and you, you know, are looking to work or apply to one of those different schools, Cleveland Heights might be a great area for you to live because you can get to them very, very easily. Um, and then on the college level, there's a ton of different universities and colleges that are easily accessible uh, from the Cleveland Heights area. So this is, you know, Notre Dame College, uh, Cleveland State University is right downtown. 
Uh, Case Western Reserve is is close to the campus of uh, University Hospital, which we talked about earlier. Uh, John Carroll, which is located in University Heights, which is just one city over um, from Cleveland Heights. Baldwin Wallace University is over on the west side, um, so just on the other side of the city. And so, again, there's a ton of different options um, that you can easily get to when you live here in Cleveland Heights. And so if you're a professor, a teacher, or somebody that works in the school system and you're looking for a good neighborhood to live, Cleveland Heights might be a great option for you. Or if you've got kids and you want to keep your options open, um, you know, as far as where you want to send them to school and, uh, you know, you want to be somewhere relatively close to where they're going to school, Cleveland Heights might be a great option for you. Um, so that's reason number three is, is why people move to Cleveland Heights is definitely the uh, wide range of educational options. All right, we're flying through these. Reason number four why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights is it's close proximity to entertainment and restaurants and events. And so we talked earlier in this video about what Cleveland Heights uh, specifically has to offer in terms of restaurants and entertainment and those type of things. But even outside of Cleveland Heights, uh, there's a lot of things that are easy to get to um, from this community in Cleveland Heights uh, that you may be interested in doing. So this is everything from you know the Cleveland Art Museum, which is a quick five, 10 minute drive, uh, depending on where you live in Cleveland Heights, the Natural History Museum, the Science Center, the Children's Museum, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, I ran a race you know, last, uh, last October down at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It took us about 15 minutes to drive down there um in in park and run the race and all that and so uh, it's pretty easy to get to uh different places outside of cleveland heights um over here in the greater cleveland area um let's say that you're interested in go to a Cavs game down a rocket mortgage field house or maybe a guardians game both of those facilities are located right next to each other only about a 15 to 20 minute drive to get down there or you can hop on the rapid take the public transportation and, and get down there easily as well um, as far as the Brown Stadium goes, First Energy Stadium, uh, that's super easy to get to. Um, also, it's about a 15, 20 minute drive. And so when you're living here in Cleveland Heights and, and you're looking to go do different things in the Cleveland area, uh, it's super easy and, and convenient to get to all those locations. All right, and last but not least, reason number five why people choose to move to Cleveland Heights is definitely the living affordability. Um, what I mean by that is there's such a wide range of living options, regardless of what maybe your budget is or um, where you're at in either the renting or the buying, um, you know, portion of your life. OK, so, you know, it, when it comes to buying homes, the average sale price between 2020 and 2022 uh, here in Cleveland Heights was just over two hundred thousand dollars. And there's a ton of options above and below that price range if you're looking to buy. Um, and then on top of that, there's tons and tons of rental options, whether you're looking for a single family rental, a duplex. They also are in the process of finishing building uh, a massive um, rental building uh, over in the Cedar Fairmount area. Um, that'll be, you know, rental units and there's shops that are going to be built in down below. Um, and so there's so many different options uh, for folks who want to live in the Cleveland Heights area and they're looking for something that's affordable. Um, and I realize that Cleveland Heights sometimes gets a bad rap because of the property taxes. Um, they are a little bit higher, um, especially compared to other cities around the greater Cleveland area. Um, but there's a ton of different um, options, you know, based on, on what your budget may be. And so don't let the property taxes deter you from taking a look um, at, at both homes to buy and possibly rent. Um, so that's reason number five is, is the, the affordability when it comes to living here in the Heights. Um, there's a lot of different options and it's a very diverse area. So, uh, I encourage you to come check it out if it's a suburb that you're interested in. And, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I got for the reasons why people, uh, choose to move to Cleveland Heights. And again, if you like this video or you found it helpful, uh, make sure you like subscribe, hit the little bell notification, and then check the description below. If you are looking for help to sell your home for top dollar or orchestrate a smooth move uh, to the Cleveland area. We're happy to help you out with both. Um, and stay tuned because we'll be dropping new videos every single week to help you out um, as you either move or, uh, or, or sell your home here in the Cleveland Heights area.